Hello there everyone, the Andrada here, and welcome back to our playthrough of Enigmatica 6, uh, episode 3. Uh, what do we got going on out here? Jeez. I heard the Enderman. I do need some Ender Pearls at some point. Can I like, look at him and then kite him into here? Right here. Oh, don't tell me you came into the house. Oh god. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now I can just, you know stand here and cheese this guy to death real quick maybe get an ender pearl if i'm so lucky hey got one uh and a wandering trader's out here too let's see what this guy's got i like that he is on an elephant you know he's not just walking around with his llamas on a lead he is on an elephant and let's see if he has more stuff uh, hello no maybe he doesn't like the spider being near him Will you, will you talk to me? Yeah. Uh, pretty much the same stuff. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, a couple of modded items, it looks like. But for the most part, uh, he's still really only good for his leads. But he's on an elephant, so I'm not going to kill him. I would offend those guys there. Though, honestly, to be honest, you shouldn't be riding elephants. It's not good for them. Uh, bad for their backs. So maybe I should kill him, but whatever. Anyway, uh, a little bit happened between episodes here. Not a whole lot. Didn't go too crazy. Um, I just did pretty much a lot of mining. Um, let me get rid of these mob drops here really quick. Um, did some mining. Did some upgrading of all of our chests here. So we finally got some iron chests so we can store stuff in the proper locations. Um, or at least not have to have them all over the place. I still need a bigger chest for that. Um, so we got some iron chests there, uh, did some mining, so we got some, uh, you know, diamonds. Actually, I think I put diamonds in my backpack, yes, because I was running out of room. So we got a few diamonds, got some lapis, redstone, you know, all the good stuff. Uh, definitely some coal for our furnace over there. Um, and yeah, upgraded our chests and did quite a bit of mining, so we got a lot of stuff being processed here. Uh, I'm noticing that we are choking on power. Um, so this is able to generate 40 RF a tick and our pulverizer is using 20, and this is using 20. So we are breaking completely even, which means this guy ain't charging back up. Uh, this guy ain't filling up, and we're just basically literally burning our coal. 100% uh, of the power is going to our two machines. Um, so is that the worst thing in the world? Not necessarily. Oh, we got quite a bit of lead too. Um, right now, it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Uh, we are going to try and fix that this episode. We're going to try and get into the uh, arboreal extractor and try and go that route and get us some more power. Um, I believe, though, it actually, well, we'll have to look into it in a second. Let's go ahead and check out our quest here. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll just collect these experience rewards. I have 35 XP. I don't really want to die with that, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, what I could do is get into the flux bore that I want for thermal, and then I can enchant that, and that will get rid of some of the experience. Um, so we may end up actually doing that here. Um, but we got a scavenger's delight, which gives us some gunpowder and some paper for upgrading to iron chests. And luckily, the um, getting the what's that thing called the uh, the iron chest upgrade. So you can there is a in place upgrade. Uh, if this one here, a wood to iron chest, you just make this with a piece of wood or well, a plank and surround that by iron. You get this little guy, right click on the chest, bam, upgrades it to iron. Uh, and that completed the quest for us. So that was nice. Uh, and then as we go up in tiers from gold to diamond, we get that going on. Um, so yeah, I don't necessarily need to upgrade to a iron backpack yet. And actually we can go ahead and throw our extra pickaxes in there for now. Uh, but yeah, let's get started with our, let's check out the flux bore. You know, what are we going to need to get into this? So we're going to need a couple things. We're going to want the flux bore itself, obviously. We're also going to want a capacitor. Um, now in previous iterations of thermal, the flux capacitor was a bobble. It is not, or a curio now, um, but it is not yet. I'm not sure if King Lemming is working on that, if it's going to be. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but it does take up an inventory slot, so which is slightly annoying. Um, so I kind of want to see if there's any other options that we can have. No immersive engineering. We're not going to go that route. Let's look for like 
battery, maybe a power battery. How, how does a power battery work? We're gonna need some lava. We're gonna need capacitors. I mean, to be honest, it looks doable, but is that what we need? I'm not 100% sure. I have a feeling like this is for, I've actually never used the power mod. So let's actually, is there a section in here for power? Yeah, let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 is there a battery? This is capacitors, reactors, resources, energy cables. Do, 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 do. Okay, it doesn't look like there's battery in here, so I'm not 100% sure if that is going to be something that we're going to be able to get into or if it's going to do what we're wanting. So we'll go with the capacitor until otherwise we find something. I know, um, isn't there, is there a jetpack mod in here? Uh, only the mechanism jetpack. I know that like Simply Jetpacks has a charging mode on it. Uh, not sure if this does, but... Oh well, that's okay. Uh, so we got a flux capacitor and we're definitely gonna want a magnet because let me tell you, mining without a magnet is a pain in the butt. Um, if you, if we go down here, we can kind of see what I've done um, mining. So I was doing like, you know, the standard strip mining, one row uh, every two blocks kind of thing to maximize my ores and all that. Yeah. It works, but it ain't it ain't that fast. We have vein mining in here. Instead of doing that, I did this. And so you basically just shapeless vein mine everything um, as much as you can. And yeah, you find a lot of stuff doing that route. When I did my diamonds, I would be finding diamonds like every three or four shapeless vein mine sessions i guess we could call them um which is why I'm, i have like 22 diamonds now uh so yeah definitely vein mining is the way to go some people don't like using vein mining because like i said previously it's a little i'm not saying cheaty but it's a it makes the early game a lot faster but at the same time mining in between episodes it, it is called minecraft but sometimes mining is the most boring thing in minecraft to do so getting all of this is you know yeah that sets us up for quite a while it'll let us work on the projects that we want to work on and get going so let's get ourselves our flux bore i'm, I'm still torn on what i want to do our board the extractor or the flux board the problem with the extractor is i'm going to need fluiducts um or well liquid transfer um and i don't think there's anything else in the pack outside of um mechanisms pipes i don't know if there's like a fluid pipe there is engineers decor but i don't know exactly how that works i don't know if immersive engineering pipes are cross compatible um with other fluids you have your mechanical pipes and then drill pipes, heat pipes, pretty pipes. How about pretty pipes? I've actually never used this. Is there a pipes section? I doubt it. Is it like a miscellaneous section? Uh, there is a tools, but I don't see anything like pipey. Um, so yeah, so it looks like mechanism is gonna be the way to go. Um, I'll just create fluid pipes. Needs a mechanical pump to get the fluid moving. So I'd have to get into actual create, which isn't terrible. Um, I'm actually excited to be able to play with create, but at this point, I'm not, I'm not ready to dive into that yet. So um, yeah, we need the basic mechanical pipes. Um, and then while we're at it, we'll get basic uh, at mechanism. We have the basic universal cables as well for power. Not that I don't like those power ones, but if I'm going to switch, I might as well switch everything. Um, so this is just going to require some steel and some redstone. This is going to require steel a bucket, uh, which isn't too bad. The steel is going to be the hardest part for us to make, but it's just going to be some steel dust. 
which we can make from the recipe for that. We can make that in a metallurgic infuser of enriched iron and carbon. Yes. Okay, so we're going to need a metallurgic infuser. And enriched iron is going to be iron and coal in another metallurgic infuser. So we're going to need two of those. And if we're going to do that, we're also going to want an enrichment chamber if we can. We're not going to be able to do it right off the bat, but we will eventually. Um, and that'll get us the uh, enriched version. So we, instead of one redstone doing everything, it'll be instead of one redstone to one iron, it's one redstone to eight, essentially, is how that maths out. Anyway, so we we'll need to do that before we can do that. So we're going to do this, planning things out ahead of time, a little bit disorganized, but hey, that's what we're here for, right? Uh, flux bore. Let's go ahead and make our stuff. So let's grab some of our ingots that we have going on here. What are we going to need? Um, we're going to need tin. We're going to need gold or copper. We're going to need more copper and some iron. Let's see if I have any copper process, which I don't. I could have told myself that. Um, let's go ahead and process the copper here first, please. Because there's still a lot of iron that needs processed. And we need gold. We have iron. Let's see. So we need copper and iron. Uh, we need gold or copper. We need tin and more gold or copper. Do I have any tin cooked up yet either? No. What is in here? Get the iron dust out of here. Go ahead and do the copper dust, please. Yes. And do we have tin cooking yet? No. Let's get a little bit of the tin. I thought I had tin. Yeah. Go ahead and process the tin. And then you can do the copper next. So that should be good to go once all this process is. And again, I mean, this is faster than a regular furnace, but it's not the fastest yet. Um, but we'll get there. We will definitely get there. But we have some copper. Now, oh, that's the wrong thing. I need a copper gear, which is going to require some nuggets, which I know I have over here. So let's go ahead and we'll make our drill head. We'll make our copper gear. And we will make our tin gears in a second. So we need eight tin. It's still processing. No iron. Stop that. That iron really wants processed, doesn't it? And we have a lot of it. I probably shouldn't have middle clicked. That's probably what did it for me. But um, so we just need our two tin gears, and we're going to need this redstone flux coil, which is going to require some redstone dust. Bam. And so we just need those two, and we'll be able to get this guy. Another thing that we're going to need is the thermal charge, the Tinker's workbench. I forgot about this thing. Even though I mentioned it last episode, where is the uh, Tinker's workbench? This is how you modify your tools um, and uh, charge them initially, at least. Uh, so we definitely have to get into that, too. Our flux capacitor just requires some of that lead that we have, which we have quite a bit of that. Does this have a charging slot? Uh, it looks like it does. You can actually charge directly off of there. We may not need that Tinker's workbench immediately. We are going to need it when we go to upgrade our stuff, but we don't necessarily need it right now. I'm gonna make another one of those because we're definitely gonna need it. And we got our flux capacitor and then our flux magnet we got that too. So we are just waiting for enough tin to get our flux bore, which we probably have, yes. Let's make our two gears real quick. And a flux bore, bam. So that is the basic setup for Tinkers, or Thermal. I keep saying Tinkers because of that Tinkers workbench. Uh, but this is Thermal. Um, so that is your basic setup for mining and picking up stuff and doing all the things that you need to do with uh, Thermal, which is pretty cool. Let's see, can we put this in here? Will it charge? 
It does. It's going to shut our machines off because they're going to burn through all their power, especially that guy since he had no power. But if we let this guy fill up real quick, let's get some more coal in there. Uh, I'll just a whole stack for now. We are going to run out of coal sometime. We're going to let that guy fill up. We'll let this guy get some power. Can we do two things? Mm. No, it looks like this one probably charges this one. That's what I'm going to assume. Or I just don't have enough power to do both. Which is also likely. Uh, so we'll let our magnet charge, because that's actually a pretty important thing. And while we do that, we're going to go ahead and check out our quests, because we should have... Um, some quests done here yeah. for our flux board. We it's a power drill that makes short work of any digging task. Use a tinker's workbench to install various upgrades, and we get an epic thermal series loot box and miner's delight. And then our fluxo magnet gives us another epic thermal series loot box. A powered magnet, perfect for keeping your precious items from falling into lava. Use a tinker's workbench to install various components. Again, you can upgrade it. Um, how are we doing? And what did we get? We got a bunch of stuff. Diamond chunks. Oh, okay. Lapis chunks. The tin can go in there, the lead can go in there, the iron can go in there, the aluminum, and the copper. The redstone... I, hesit I hesitate because it can be, like, that's 1 to 6. If I throw it in the enrichment chamber, that's 1 to 12. Um, and that looks like that's about it. Yeah. Enrichment chamber can 1 to 12x that. So that would be a lot of that. Now the diamond chunks can be used to smelt directly into one diamond. Can they be pulverized? They can into two diamonds, or can we mechanism machine these? Energized smelter, the enrichment chamber will also turn them into two. So. Really, 2xing these is about the best we're going to get with them. Uh, well, Blood Magic Arc Furnace, but we ain't there yet. So, the Diamond Chunks is fine to go in there. And you know what? To be honest, Lapis is... We get a lot of Lapis, so we're not going to worry about that too much. And let's go ahead and charge that guy up. Magnet, uh, I believe we just press V. Yes, that is the default keybind, and it will auto-attract. Uh, this is also not a curio, I don't believe, yet. No. So that also has to sit in your inventory, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but with this, we no longer need our iron pickaxe. To a degree, we need to upgrade it. If we want to be able to mine diamond and obsidian and stuff like that, we need to upgrade our pickaxe or our flux bore with that tinker's workbench. Um, for now, though, we aren't going to worry about it too much. We did get an augment for our... Well, any machine or tool, really. We're going to use it right now, though, in our Sterling Dynamo to get more power. Um, so we got a resonant integral components that improves base attributes and amplifies augments up to a scale of 4x. So if we pop that in there, you're going to now see we're going to use 160 RF a tick. We're also going to burn through our coal four times faster, essentially. So we're not going to keep this um, in there like that, but our machines are going to start running um, well, they would start running if I wasn't charging this. Basically, all our excess power is going into this guy at the moment. So, once this flux capacitor charges up, then we will be good. We also have another quest that we completed. Where's that at? The thermal series. Oh, we got an auxiliary process sieve. So, that's going to get us some more. This says a lot of material can be lost in a system that would otherwise be recovered by slowing down to check again. The auxiliary process sieve trades speed for extra materials and applicable machines. So basically what that means is that it's going to slow down your machine. So it's going to use 1.25 times more energy. Um, but your secondary products, which is like your cinnabar, in this case, appetite, gravel, you'll get uh, a 15% chance to get more of those. I don't necessarily care too much about that, so we're gonna go ahead and just store that for later. We don't need our, we don't need secondary products at the moment, so um, yeah, we're just gonna store that and look, all of our power is going into this guy, which is perfectly fine. We also got another upgrade, uh, which is the reinforced integral components with a scale factor of three, and we're gonna save that one to put into our flux board, and we'll see why in a second. Um, let's go ahead and get that Tinker's Workbench, because we're definitely going to need it for 
some of this processing. Uh, so we need some iron. We need glass and wood and redstone. So there's that. Do I have any glass cooked up? If not, I can easily get some. Um, and we'll just do it in here because this guy is available to us. Uh, and we need some wood. Or, well, planks, really. So let's go ahead and make a crafting table real quick. Sure. And we just need two pieces of glass. So just once that's done. <laughs> done. And we need this guy. And bam. Now, again, power is an issue. Power quickly becomes issues uh, very often. Because now, see, look, this is going to fill up. And this stopped. Oh, no, this filled up all the way. And the machines are not running again. Well, the pulverizer is running for the moment. Which is okay. Again, we're, uh, we're going to get there in just a moment. Uh, we can turn our flux capacitor on by pressing V. Now, this is in mode inventory or all items, so it will charge everything that we have, which is the mode that I want it on. Uh, and this guy is now full. And this guy is getting there. So, a couple options here in the Tinker's Workbench. You have your charge fill mode, which if you put it in there, it'll charge up your item that you put in there. If you click the button, it'll change it to augment mode, where you can add your augments. So if we add this guy into there, if we see now, this has a transfer rate of 1,000 RF, energy is 50,000. Um, if we pop this guy in here, that all, uh, and we lock that, bam, we now have 150, and the transfer rate is 3,000 RF into it. Uh, so it can transfer RF into it faster, and it can um, store more. But we now have the ability to uh, open up our options, controls. Uh, what is this? CO cycle mode forward. Yeah, it should be V. So let's go to key V. Well. Oh, you know what? Because, huh, see, this new thermal stuff, that's not the right upgrade that I need. That increases base attributes. We also need the, da, 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 where is it? The radial enhancement. That will allow us to mine up to a seven by seven, if so desired, um, depending on how many of those we put into our machine. So let's look at what it's gonna take to make one of those. We don't need that anymore. That is just some tin, some iron, and some redstone, all of which we now have, uh, not necessarily in abundance, but we have enough to make three. So, uh, so we need three, and we need nuggets. Well, there's those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me that back, and bam, we should be able to make three. We're gonna put those in this guy in augment mode, bam, bam, bam. Take them out, and now if we press V, we'll see, we can mine up to a seven by seven area. Uh, so this part here, if we put this back in here, this part is what is gonna allow it to mine up to like diamond or obsidian. This part is what gets you bigger mining so you definitely you're gonna have to have one of these if you want to be able to mine diamond um, or obsidian or cobalt and stuff like that in the nether um, and then if you want to do bigger mining you need the um, radial enhancements but this also speeds up mining and the nice thing with this thing is it's fully enchantable so you can get um, you don't need unbreaking but you can get efficiency 5 uh, fortune 3 things like that without having to worry um, and yeah so single block there's your single block. We also have three by three, five by five, and then the almighty seven by seven. This makes mining so much faster, so much more efficient. Look at all that. Let's make sure that we light this guy up. Another thing, um, scratch that, I lied. I was gonna say we were gonna look into um, Cyclic's auto torch, but Cyclic is not in this pack, so. Uh, keep in mind, when you do 7x7, seven seven, it uses a lot of power. So you need to make sure that you constantly keep your flux capacitor 
uh, activated, which, there we go, shift right click. Shift right click to turn it on. V changes the mode, shift right click turns it on. Now, this thing also does uh, vein mining, so you can vein mine, just like that, uses the power. Here's where it gets crazy, and we're gonna go over here. If we set this to a seven by seven, and we pop over here to our uh, vein mine area, and say we vein mine this in a seven by seven, look at the area that it vein mines. I feel like that did more in previous iterations. Maybe it's because it's the scoria. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. I feel like I was able to vein mine a lot more when I was on 7x7 seven seven mode previously. Actually, kind of a little disappointing because it would go crazy, like massive areas of vein mining. Uh, oh well. Oh, I also realized that this pack has the slash home command. So when we get back up here, I need to set home and then we can just easily teleport back home when we're down here in our mine. And we don't have to wait. Uh, but if you see here, what is this? Uh, this was zinc. It just says that I'm able to use it because it's a regular pickaxe. I can mine diamond and obsidian with this guy now. Easy peasy. Um, so what we need to work on is getting enchantments on here so we can burn through these levels just in case I die because I don't have easy access to a experience storage system yet. Uh, the best way to go about that is probably going to be through Pneumaticraft um, and getting the memory stick in Pneumaticraft. And I forgot to stop away at the trash can on the way because this has been the biggest pain dealing with this. I actually brought this trash can down with me. Um, when I was mining. Oh, that was my dark oak planks. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, this is the worst part is having to deal with all of the trash. Uh, that's why I need to get that dank set up soon. Um, and having that chest over there basically negated the need for this chest. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Eventually, we're going to get into refined storage, and we should be able to get into refined storage actually fairly soon. It shouldn't take that long, and we are out of power in that thing already. So we definitely need to get into the arboreal extractors, um, which means I need to find spruce. And that is going to be the limiting factor on our arboreal extraction. I can get rid of that pickaxe now, too, and these pickaxes. Uh, yeah, spruce is going to be needed so that we can get maximize our uh, tree oil, I believe it is. Creosote, latex, resin. So we can maximize our resin, which then gets put into the fractionating still, which is going to get us rosin and tree oil. Now, the nice thing with the rosin is that it can be burned in the sterling dynamo. So we have the sterling dynamo giving us power from the rosin and the... Um, tree oil burning and the tree oil gives us a lot of RF uh, when you burn it I don't know if JEI says how much um, in the compression dynamo uh, it just says a million RF so I guess one bucket gives you a million RF uh, how fast it burns through it doesn't say though and how much per tick but it's pretty well when you get that set up and you let it run for a little while just to back stuff all the different parts you won't run out of power so it's pretty decent um but yeah that was actually pretty decent stuff to get and i think we got another tool yes we got the radial enhancement so we get some more loot so let's see what we get this time we got the flux linkage amplifier and some terracotta and some gunpowder flux linkage and amplifier uh, process energy is 1.1x, but it can hold 100% more power. Um, that would be good on like a flux cell. I don't know if that would really like benefit this. I mean, it would make its buffer larger. I don't... Yeah, I'm not... That's for a machine. I'm not entirely sure like... It uses more energy, but... Does that mean it runs faster? Oh, it did run faster. 
Ah, so now it uses, I see, so it uses 40 RF a tick now, so it does run twice as fast, but it's only 91% efficient, so it's burning more power. Oh, okay. That was kind of nice. Keep that in there, then. We may have to hop that around between different uh, machines as we go. And did that give me another quest? Jeez. Yes, that gave me a quest. What do I get this time? Hardened glass. That'll come in handy eventually. We'll just stick that over there for now. Uh, but anyway, so that was a fairly productive episode. We got our uh, flux board set up to do 7x7 seven seven mining. Uh, and we got our capacitor and our magnets. So we're all set to mine. I'll probably do a little bit more mining in between episodes, but we're pretty good on most of our resources here for now. Uh, the biggest issue that we're having is uh, power. We aren't doing all of this stuff fast enough. So we have a huge back stuff here. We have a back stuff in here. And yeah, so we need to get more power. So I think next episode, we're gonna go ahead and start working on getting into mechanism so that we can get our mechanical pipes so we can start pumping our fluids around that we need to. And I believe in the mechanism, you actually get a few for free when you uh, start getting into material processing. So it gives you a configurator. I gotta remember that or else I'll end up making one. A gauge dropper with pipes and cables running everywhere. Who knows what's going to get into that machine when it's plonked down water, hydrogen. Once things are in, it's often times it's not clear how to get them out. The gauge dropper comes in, small tool for help extract unwanted inputs from various machines. Oh, that's nice. So instead of having to get, say, for example, like, I don't know, you're processing the resin and you need to get a bucket of that or put that resin into a machine, you can use that dropper, which is going to pull a small amount, and you can set up a machine ahead of time with its um, liquid so that you don't guarantee, like, water and stuff isn't going to go in there. That's kind of nice. Um, but anyway, we get into the metallurgic infuser, which gives us a steel casing and a mechanism loot box. Enrichment chamber gets us some of those. I'm looking for the pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes. I swear one of these gives you some pipes. Uh, apparently not. I thought there was something that gave us pipes. Alas, I am wrong. Oh well. They're not going to be too hard to make. So yeah, next episode, we'll go ahead and get into uh, mechanism, start making us some pipes and start getting, you know, that going and get into our arboreal extractors and our compression dynamos and get some more power so we can start expanding into other cool and interesting things and start working through some of these quests and uh, having fun playing around and enjoying our time here in Enigmatica 6. So catch y'all later. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.